guys, welcome back to Minute Watch. Kurt here, and just like the title implies, we're going to change the crystal from this Hamilton Field Cocky 38 silver dial to a AR coated sapphire dome. Now, this watch already has a sapphire dome, but it's not uh, AR coated, so there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, glare, a lot of reflection, and the, the silver dial watch isn't so bad, but the black dial very bad. So this will this will this procedure will work for that one as well. And uh, let's just get to it. What you're gonna need, you're gonna need the crystal from Crystal Times Horology. This is the the CT098. This is the blue AR coded. And uh, you're gonna need some some uh, crystal press with the, the the proper dies for it. A small flathead screwdriver. Let me just get right there. A very small flathead screwdriver because you're gonna need that to fit into the movement to push out the stem. And uh, some tweezers helps. A squishy blower. Uh, I, I use a little felt pad to put the movement on, then I cover it with the little thing there, and a case removal tool, which comes really handy. So, there's a bunch of reasons why you would want to change the crystal for this watch. Um, either the uh, the glare is too much for you, you don't like the glare, um, or you're fine with the glare, but you want that blue AR coating goodness, uh, or you just want to you just want to tinker and you have a you have fancy for tinkering things. Uh, so let's uh, let's just get right into it. So I've already pre-loosened the case, and I'm just move everything out of here. And uh, bef before I do it, I take no responsibility if you screw up your watch. I've screwed up my fair share of watches already. So <laughs> this is just to show you how I'm doing this. So take that into consideration. I've already loosened it, but I'll just show you anyway. So obviously, I've removed the strap. You're gonna want to do that first. So. Uh, you just size the case back removal tool uh, perfectly to go inside the slots and then you twist it out of there. You're going to leave, need a little bit of oomph to twist it out of there and uh, take off the case back. So just take that off, put it somewhere safe on the side and then we're going to zoom into the movement here. Oh, a little bit more zoom. Oh yeah, look at that. Super zoom. I love this camera. This camera is the best. All right, so this is Hamilton's H10 movement. The procedure is still the same with the older 2428-2 movement. So you're going to want to pull out the stem or the crown all the way to the set position or to the hacking position. You don't want to you don't want to do anything else. You can do it in the winding position, but this is just the safest way. So you see that little area right here. There's a little space. There's a little slot right there. You're gonna want to push in your your screwdriver. We can see that. Let me just get. I'm trying to look at it with the camera and the thing at the same time. It's it's difficult. So you're gonna push that in, and then you're gonna pull off the stem. Very easy. Now it's important to do it that way because if you don't, if you if you push in the release mechanism with the stem all the way in, you're gonna have a hell of a time getting the stem back in, if at all. You might not be able to get it in at all. So make sure you pull the stem out, guys, all the way. And then I'll show you the process after that. So put the crown off to the side, remove all the unnecessary tools. So I believe that this movement just kind of floppity flops out uh, with very great ease we shall see yeah look at that boom so the easy people and is that the case uh, I need I need the gasket so I'm not gonna try not to touch the gasket with your hand because the oils will kind of get all up in that stuff so I'm gonna cover the movement with my cover of justice so the dial doesn't get all dirty and now we're gonna get the case appropriate dies on the case we're gonna find the nice big guy here so we can find where we can put the case on here it's gotta it's gotta go around the bezel like so that's good and you're gonna want to cover it with a with a nice uh, soft rag here a good uh, eyeglasses cleaning one is fine. That way you don't scratch the bezel when you're popping out the crystal. So we're just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna put that on here, and then uh, 
see if that goes in yeah that goes in uh, yeah so that's snug uh, and then you just go to town pop it up that uh, I need to get a little bit more aerial height sometimes you have to just give it a little bit more height so that uh, there's more more leverage yeah. yeah so guys how are you doing <laughs> how are you doing all right just give it a nice push oh there's something going on here oh, why is not this not coming out you know what I'm going to go with a smaller one this is not working out I am going to I am going to flippity flip to the other side I suspect that it is catching somewhere no it's not it, it seems to be just fine I'm going to still do it hmm I think that uh, it's the crystal is pressing up on this so I'm gonna use this side the bigger side that's smart I am smart ish and uh, yeah bear with me guys uh, yeah I don't know what else to say <laughs> How's the weather where you guys live in? Yeah, you know, tell me in the comments below, like, tell me where you guys live. Like, I'm super curious where you folks live. I know a lot of you are in the States, but there's a lot of you folks from other countries. I see you guys. I appreciate you guys. And that's just like that. You push it down, crystal comes out. Very, very nice. Very nice. And uh, let's just uh, check this crystal out here. Yeah. It's crystal. All right, so what we're gonna do now? Uh, there was no gasket in there, huh? Oh no, there is a gasket. There, there is definitely a gasket. Let me zoomy make zoom there, and there you go. So there is a plastic ring. Make sure that's in there before you put the new crystal in. All right, so let's get the uh, crystal. I am actually going to get some finger condoms. I'll be right back. All right, we got the we got the we got the big the magnum size the rib for uh, my, my pleasure. Anyway, we're gonna pop open the crystal here. Crystal time CT zero nine eight blue AR coder. We're gonna put the uh, that in a link in the about section below, as well as links to this watch and other things uh, that I might find awesome. And uh, before we do that, let's get this all this stuff ready. Uh, I do believe that we can. Use this press, or should we use this press, or should we use this press? I'm going to use this press on this side. Let's take this off. This thing is making all sorts of rubbish all over the place. This thing is getting terrible. It's I think it might be time for me to buy a new set of dies, and then uh, yeah, so we can probably use this this big one again. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Put the uh, rag on there so the case doesn't get scratchy scratched. And then grab the new crystal and then just kind of just put it on. And you got to make sure it's all centered and then uh, just kind of get it. Oh, yeah, I can tell this already is going to be really nice. This is going to be super nice, guys. Oh, center, mix center on there. Okay. Give it a nice good push. And then we're gonna put it in the press, and you might take a few times to, oops, you might take a few times to get it in there nice and good, and just uh, give it some good pushes. All right. Oh, my, uh, I have just jacked my arms a little bit uh, doing lifting weights and stuff. So let me just uh, get this all pressed in, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. So I just needed to take the uh, the uh, press to um, my computer desk because I just needed more leverage. I can't really get leverage when I'm doing a reach around over here, you know. Uh, reach arounds don't usually have a lot of leverage. <laughs> but yeah, don't be afraid to spin it around and press, you know. Uh, this one, I got this perfectly done. Let me just zoom in a bit. As you can see, there you go. So it is nicely set in there. Just perfectly set in there. So we're going to put the... We're gonna put the. We can take off the finger rubbers, and then uh, 
we're going to put the cover back on and then close it up. Oh, we need the we need the gasket of justice here. Let's not forget the gasket of justice and put that around this. And then or does that go within the case itself? It probably goes within the case itself. And then So this is the first time I'm doing this, guys. Uh, you are following me on this journey. And then I'm doing this just as I go along. So we're going to close the case up. Make sure that thing's still in there. There we go. A little bit of a weird catch. There you go. It's nice. It caught nicely. Close up the case. Yeah. And we're going to find the case closer tool, case opener closer tool. And we're going to give it a nice couple of uh, nice couple of closey closes here. And squish. There you go. That's a nice one. Grab the crown. I'm going to put the crown back in. And can you see it? I'm looking at it. Yeah, they're good. Put the crown back in. And uh, this is fan. Does this crown even have a freaking? It does. I'm, I'm kind of like worried about like how this seals. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're gonna put it in water, <coughs> and we're gonna leave it. Let it sit for a couple minutes here. Boom. And I'll be back in about 20 minutes. And uh, let's just just to show you right now. It is. Uh, it is it is 3:39 a.m. That's right, 3:39 a.m. I'm crazy. All right, guys, we're back. It's been 20 minutes and now we're going to we're just going to take the the thing out of here and then take out this here. Give it a nice little dry session here. And then we're going to check to see if it leaks. This is a very rudimentary uh, water test, but I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't plan on swimming with this watch anyway, so not a big deal. And uh, I'm sure this crystal can handle it anyway. All right, let's look at it. Yep. Everything appears to be just good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure there's no dust in the case. I'm going to take off the case back and then I'm going to make sure there's no dust off the case. What happened to the crown? The crown just kind of fell out, didn't it? That is very interesting. When I, when I, yeah, well, obviously it's not connected to anything, but yeah, but I'm going to make sure there's no dust or anything inside the case and then come back and I'm going to, I'm going to put the movement in. All right, I spent a couple of minutes on getting the, uh, just get, making sure there's no debris on the inside of the glass. Sometimes these crystals, they, they look like they're perfectly clean, but there's like a little spray or something on them. You can look through the light and you can see these little microscopic, well, you can't see microscopic, but they're tiny little particles of stuff, of which I use these uh, these lint-free applicators, these Extreme Lashes lint-free applicators. They're really good and for at this kind of stuff, um, especially if there's only a few things here and there you want to want to brush off. They're kind of, they're kind of spongy. And folks.com, yeah, so they're kind of spongy. They don't have lint on them. They're perfect for this job. Highly recommend it. I'll put a link to these in the about section if you want to pick some up and uh, you buy them and make me 14 cents. <laughs> so we're going to put the movement back into the housing. So we're just going to zoom it in a bit there. there. All right. So we're just going to reverse the process. We're just going to place it back on the movement real carefully. Don't rush it. Just gently put it back on the movement little happy clouds little happy movement and then you're gonna flip the whole thing upside down very carefully and then there you go so if it doesn't sit seat in there perfectly fine that's okay just kind of just kind of move around the housing a little bit just just get it in there there you go and that should be nicely seated in there perfect okay now you're gonna get the crown and what you're going to do is you're going to kind of find the hole a little bit and then you're just going to get that find that find that little slot right there again and then you're going to you're going to 
press down into that slot and then slowly push the crown in and just kind of jiggle it back and forth and push it in until it snaps into place. There you go, it snaps into place. Give it a little bit of a wind, push it out. One, two, and we're good. All right, that's it. And now we're gonna put the case back on here. This case back there and there. A little bit of a lengthy length right there. Just get that out there real quick. All right. And where is the case back? Here it is. I'm gonna put it on. This is one of the most easiest things I've ever done. And we're gonna grab the the case back tool real quick. Forgot it on my desk. And I'm gonna I'm just gonna give it a nice little oh that is some zoom action. Well look at look at that. Oh wow. <laughs> well shucks my card ran out of room, so <laughs> I had to go clean it up a bit and then uh yeah, I lost my train of thought, but yeah, let's uh let's get this closed up a bit. And then yeah. So we're done and it that's it. So let me just put it on the strap real quick. And uh Yeah. All right, here is the final product. That is the watch with the new Crystal Time Serology Blue Air coated double dome sapphire on this field khaki 38 millimeter. Now this will work with all versions, the black version and the older ETA 2824-2 movement versions. And uh, will very much so increase the aesthetics, uh, the aesthetic appeal of the of these watches, especially the black version. Uh, hey, Uncle Jimmy, what do you think about this this little mod? What did you do? I changed the crystal into another crystal. So let me get this straight. You put a sapphire dome crystal in place of the sapphire dome crystal. Yep. No, you're a fucking idiot. Well, no, because this has the blue AR coating on it. And it makes it that much more special. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. that uh, whatever. I gotta go I gotta go do some other things than this bull crap. Alright. <laughs> okay, he's he's not impressed, guys. He's super not impressed, but I am. I think it's great. If you guys agree, let me know in the comments below. I can tell there's a lot less glare. And this is in a light box, guys. Light boxes usually have all the glare when it comes to having a dome crystal. But this is not bad at all. So, that's my review. Stay tuned for the beauty shots. May your peanut be happy. And thanks for watching.